Dear students, yesterday Nepali Babu had asked me one question related to area of triangle and the question is like this. The perimeter of a right angle triangle is 12 cm and the area is 6 cm. Find the length of the sides of the triangle. Okay, now this is the question. Uh, now this question is related area of triangle and it's uh, from mensuration from not from geometry okay the previous video was from geometry in geometry also we need to find the area of triangle quadrilateral we need to find but this is the question from uh, mensuration okay now here it is given like this here uh, we have given area of triangle is given uh, since it is right angle triangle we can name the side of the triangle be p b and h let p b and h be the sides of right angled triangle now we have given area equal to 6 okay area a equal to 1 by 2 times p times b this is area of right angle triangle so area is given here 6 so 6 equals to uh, 1 by 2 times p times b so we can write pb equals to pb equals to 12 centimeter so therefore uh, b equals to 12 divided by p we can write let us say this equation 1 also we got value of b in terms of p okay now another what we have given is perimeter given now perimeter means perimeter is equals to 12 given no now perimeter means it is p plus b plus h three sides sum of the three sides so p plus b plus h equals to 12 no now let us put the value here p we don't know so let us put like this only now we need to uh, we, p we have to find in terms of p b is in terms of p p is p only now h will find us h will find out in terms of this one so we can write like this h equal to h yes, equal to 12 minus p minus b we can write so this is equals to 12 we can write as it is minus p p as it is we can write minus b means you can put this value here 12 upon p so we can take lcm if you take lcm it will be like this p lcm then it will be 12 p minus p square minus 12 this is the value of h so we got value of b and value of h we got now in right angle triangle we have we have like this formula also we have h square equals to p square plus p square isn't so this is the formula in h pythagoras theorem uh, now h means h means this one see 12p this one we can write like this 12p minus p square minus 12 divided by P we can write this much whole square we can h square equals to p square we can write p square as it is b square is 12 upon p whole square we can write so b square this one 12 upon p it's here see b means this one okay all the all the terms we got in terms of p now simplify this and they get the value of p now or now what we can do here we can use the formula here see 12p minus p square this much a we can consider minus b whole square formula we can apply see so a which one a is look at a these two terms we can consider a and this a b so this is a and this is b okay a minus b whole square formula we can apply so a by the like see a minus b whole square means we can use a square minus 2ab plus b square this formula we can apply here okay so now here a means 12p minus a a square is 12p minus p square whole square a square minus 2 a means 12p minus p square this is a 2a b is 12 again plus b square is 12 square and then divided by this p square as it is we can write equals to now this is a 12 by p whole square we can take lcm here also this will be p square this will be 144 okay right? 12 square 144 this is p square so we can take p square lcm so this will be p to the power 4 plus 144 
see this p square will multiply here so p to the power 4 uh, 144 2 l square is 144 denominator is p square so that we can cancel p square and p square okay now this also formula will apply now see look at here or 12p minus p square will say a minus b whole square so now a square means 12p whole square 12p whole square a square minus 2 dot 12p dot and then p square minus plus p square whole square p to the power 4 minus now this 12 times 2 is 24 24 times 12 you can multiply now now 12 12s are 144 144 times 2 will be 288 and then p it will be again minus minus plus p 2 12 to the 24 p square 24 p square this much plus 12 square is 144 is equals to p to the power 4 plus 144 okay look at here this p to the power 4 p to the power we can cancel 144 also we can cancel now look at here what you will get or if you simplify this one see look at it here this is p cube see 12 to the 24 minus 24 p to the power p to the power 3 p cube then after this uh here is p square c uh this is 12 square is 144 plus 144 p square now this one al already done now this one see 24p square again plus 24p square then another term this one see minus 288p is equals to 0 now we can take something here common okay 24 is common i think uh, uh, we can add first of all this one then we can take common also let us add first of all or minus 24p cube now 4 plus 4 is 8 2 plus 4 is 6 and then 1 plus this is p square minus 288 p is equals to 0 we got isn't so now we can take common now what is common here now okay right or uh, minus or minus 24 p is common look at here here is a 24p, here 24 is common, p is common, here is a p is common. So if you take common like this, 24p common, here you will get p square. Then plus will become minus because minus we have taken common. So 168 means 24 times 7. 7 24 is 168. And 1p is common, so only 1p will be here. Now this will be plus. Uh, it's minus minus taken common so it will be sorry oh uh, wait wait 24 p cube 100 okay this minus common means this will be minus this will be plus now okay now after this what will be there uh 12 uh, 24 uh, ones are 24 4 will come uh, 48 24 twos are 48 12 will come equals to zero now what will come here now after this uh, this 24p we can transfer that side or uh, p square this 12 we can break this middle term we can break product is 12 and then sum is 7 means 3 4s are 12 3 plus 4 is 7 so we can write minus 3p minus 4p plus 12 equals to 0 divided by minus 24p this we can transpose this side okay now or we can take p common p minus 3 minus 4 common p minus 3 equals to 0 or p minus 3 is common you will get p minus 4 equals to 0 now either p minus 3 equals to 0 therefore p equals to 3 or p minus 4 equal to 0 therefore p equals to 4 we got okay we got two values of p now look at here now at the side i'll do here at the side see when when p equal to 3 what will happen see when p equal to 3 b equal to b means it is here look at it b is 12 by p so 12 by 3 which is equal to 4 centimeter okay if p is 3 centimeter this centimeter centimeter don't forget to write 
if P is 3 cm, B will be 4 cm. Now, what about H? H equal to look at it. Value H is this one. See, 12P minus P square minus 12. See, so 12P means 12 times 3. And then minus P square is 3 square minus 12 divided by P is 3 here. So, now 12, 3 is a 36. Minus 3, 3 is a 9. Minus 12 divided by 3 which is equals to uh, we will get 15 by 3 which is equals to 5 centimeter we got as again see again when p equals to 4 4 centimeter then b will be equal to 12 divided by 4 which is equals to 3 centimeter and now as equal to again see 12 times 4 minus 4 square minus 12 divided by 4 so this will be equals to this will be equals to um, uh, 12 for the 48 minus 4 for the 16 minus 12 divided by 4 which is equals to uh, this 48 to 12 16 means okay 12 by 4 4 3 is a 12 3 centimeter we will get so hence Hence, now look at it. Our perpendicular and base, it can be any one. See, either, either it, when, when, see, when B equal to 3, then when P equal to 3, you will get B equal to 4. When P equal to 4, B is coming 3. But H is coming same in both the cases. So, hence, the sides of triangle, the sides of triangle, we can write here like this. Hence, the sides... of triangle R, size of triangle R, 3 cm, 4 cm and 5 cm. Okay, thank you for watching this video.